Hello everyone, this is Sukanya Mukherjee and you are watching Anakirinthal Coders and today we are going to talk about um, an issue that um, many of you might have been facing currently and um, this is an issue that um, actually isn't much talked about in the videos you have searched a lot maybe but you haven't found even I have also suffered with this issue and today we are going to talk about how to fix it so without waiting more let's get started so at first you you are actually facing this kind of issue like you are seeing this kind of window opening in front of you saying that a debugging check in this application has failed and and here you can see that get next visible the item you call ne get next visible uh, bracket for must be visible itself so this is a kind of issue like uh, what kind of issue is this okay basically so it's an issue with opening the view section and uh, in the view section there is a management um, management option uh, that opens as a slide when you try to create a project let me show you what the issue is where you're facing the issue where it's going wrong when you are opening the code block IDE, this issue is what you are facing. Let me show it to you. So what is basically happening here is that you are trying to create a new project. Okay, let's go. And you click on console application, which is an obvious thing. And then you click on go. And then it's going a bit slow. It's getting a bit slow. I think my laptop is getting a bit slow. Anyways, you click on next. You click on C++ as I'm creating a project on C++. You uh, you can give a title to this and um, let's say, what can we give it? Let's say, um, hi. I have already a project named hello, so I'm not going for that. Anyways, um, next. And you see, yes, this is what it is popping up. like like you saw in the opening and now you are what you're going to do is just click on continue and it just opens like that now what you need to do here is just click on file click on open main.cpp uh, I am going to click on this as open and this file is show up in front of you and what is the issue here is that in this view option click on manager and this slide will open here just making it a bit just getting a better width of it and then you see this is the file that you were working upon right now and now what you need to do is just when you close this file you write everything in this run the code and then when you like you just the way you usually do it just write all the code inside it and inside of it and then click on file and click on close project the project actually now now it's completely closed okay that's that's a better way to do this so and what you need to do when you get out of here i mean when you close the window just you click on the close and this will pop up in front of you yes so what this basically means is you need to understand what this basically means is that um you are saving it with the management slide open that's why you're getting this thing the way you keep the uh, keep your code block id open is the way it's going to pop up the next time if you click on yes and if you click on no this is not going to happen so what you need to do here is click on yes because you want to see the management slide the next time you open the project okay so you click on yes okay now what you need to do here is just click on code blocks again this time you're not going to see this issue again let me show show you how let's just wait for a moment so the app is opened and and how you can check it's running clean it's like 
by clicking on create a new project like the way you did before and it showed an issue but this time it won't going to show it again you click on console application go we're going to create a new project and give it a new name because we're going to check it so you can let it delete the file anyways so name I'm giving it random names actually anyway let's click on next finish and this time you're not going to see the same issue again see it's opening up and you need to click on sources and main cpp like the way you used to do before and this is the way it's going to save so you can later delete the files thank you for watching see you next time until then bye